Welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today we're talking about the Automatic Surface Mesh Advanced tab for Part 3, and this is really all about Boundary Proximity Influence. Boundary Proximity Influence can be found in the Advanced tab of the Automatic Surface Mesh feature, right here. There's three options, by orientation, all, or none. What this is actually referring to is how much a connector will influence the interior of a domain of a surface that's near it. So for example, if I choose none, there will be no influence. You see there is no influence of the cylinder on this side over here, and there's no influence of this cylinder on this surface mesh. If we change it to all, we should see clustering right here, and around this cylinder. And you can clearly, clearly see. In fact, you can see that it is specifically adjusting to the connectors, not to the other domains. The default setting is the final one I'm talking about, and that's by orientation. That means the only connectors that can influence the domain are in the outward normal direction from the domain itself. For example, this closed database box has normals facing outward. That means that this cylinder should not have any impact on the surface mesh, but this one, because it is in the outward normal direction, should impact the surface mesh. Let's redo create surface mesh, and you can clearly see that this cylinder has an impact on the surface mesh, while this one does not. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thanks, y'all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.